I don't believe that anybody should wait on anything or anything. You have to go out there and get what it is you really want. I grew up in the Chicagoland area and you know some people that are from smaller places and have never been there. They're like, why aren't you excited about being from Chicago? You said that you're from there and that's your hometown. You said just no, nonchalant. Just because you were born in the place doesn't mean that that place is a good place for you. Don't get me wrong, Chicago is a great city. It's a beautiful city. You know, I'm proud to be from there. However, for my adult life, it wasn't such a great place for me. And I felt like maybe I should try other places, but I had to get in a certain mind frame where I was ready to go. I had to build the courage to sometimes going across the country and you don't know people, sometimes they can be scared. So once I got over that fear and once I got my first move under my belt, it was easier every time I child. And I just noticed that me traveling and living in different places, I just have found that I have been very disappointed with some of the places that I've been to because a lot of places have a lot of hype to them and then you build it up in the in your mind that it's some kind of euphoria or something and you go there and it's like what? So I have learned to not really expect a whole lot so then that way I'm not really now I decided to go to New York. New York, right? You know, it's a place where a lot of people want to be. They're constantly moving there from all over the place. There's millions of people. It's diverse, Times Square, yada, yada, yada. And I found it to be a place where, you know, if you're an artistic type of person, I can see why one would want to go there. And I'm a definitely a creative. You know, because Chicago is very conservative. Um, the paper people try to make it seem like it is. Oh, they're open-minded in the arts, but they're really not. They get in their little cliques and they have a tendency to just deal with only a few people and that's later. So I get there and it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. A lot of people found my style to be outrageous, to flamboyant. And I was like, this is the number one city in the United States. This is New York City. You should be used to flashy people. A lot of celebrities live here. And it was a little disappointing because when I would come through the airport, they would shut down the whole security thing just to check out my outfits and my sh shoes that I had on at the time. It's like they had never seen that type of fabulousness before. And I'm like, this is New York. This should be nothing for you. I, people didn't know how to do. I'm like, well, damn. If I'm too much for New York City, then what the fuck? Where else? Can I go? Point it. So at, at that point, it's like I got really discouraged and really down. I didn't want to really try any other place. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to take it internationally. Is there ever going to be a place that fits me and my personality where I can flourish and be free to be me? And I'm not so sure a lot of times. I have realized that a lot of things aren't always as they seem figure out where it is I'm going to go next because I obviously have some gypsy blood because um, I don't have a problem with living in different places and going on different adventures. To me it's exciting, it's un unusual, it's not the norm. Most people, you know, want to be in one place their whole life and die in that same place and I never wanted to be the type of person to you know, be born in Chicago, live my whole life in Chicago, never leave it, and die there. To me, I thought that was like the, the most awful thing. So, you know, it life has, for me, has gotten better. I've had, you know, as I've become more worldly and had more experiences, I realized that it's like a box of chocolates. You're not gonna know what the hell you're gonna get, but you gotta go with the flow. But I do realize that the fact that I'm not satisfied means that I will continue to grow because when you get in a spot 
in your mind when you're not satis when you're satisfied or you accept life as it is, you're not happy in your relationship, you're not happy in your job, but you're not trying to improve, you're not applying for different things, you're not trying to get a divorce, you're not trying to move, that place is bad for you, you won't grow. So I'm really excited because I, my lack of satisfaction lets me know that I am going to go after my dreams and I'm going to continue to you know, grow as a person because I'm not satisfied and where I'm at now, this ain't it either, baby. So, um, who knows where the hell I'm going to be. That's the fun, exciting part about it is that I don't know where I'm going to be. And a lot of people like, you need to sit on that settle down and get married and been there, done that, you know, hey, until I get to the point where I'm halfway satisfied. It is what it is. And everybody's different. And, you know, like I said before, don't take offense to, you know, me if I'm talking about your city or something like that. Don't get me wrong. I love Chicago. I love New York. It's just not a good place. They're not good places for me. They're not places that are good for me right now. Now, 10 years from now, 5 years from now, 25 years from now, they may be perfect for me, but not right now, right here, where I'm at currently in my life. You know, I'm staying in the present moment right here, right now, no. So this concludes this video, and I will talk to you guys later, so chit chat with me and let me know if you've ever had those types of feelings where you're just not satisfied with certain aspects of your life what do you intend on doing about it nothing because most people intend on doing nothing and they sit around and complain and that's really defeats the purpose because that doesn't change anything all you're doing is aggravating the people that are listening to that and i'm not one to listen to complain